Hi girls, it's Saturday. Hi girls, something tells me you already know that it's Saturday. So, I should start with an apology. I'm so sorry I didn't post a video last week. But I have been so busy with uni and well going to Amsterdam and going to see the new Harry Potter movie twice and just trying to have a life really. <laughs> I'm not really good at it though, so I'll just come back to the internet. I think that works out better for me. I'm about to launch a new project on my personal channel. I guess the video will be up either today or tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that, but I'm not going into it right now. Just some things I want to say. Amsterdam was absolutely amazing. You'll definitely see some more about that on my personal channel again. I don't have time to edit it yet. Well, I might include some clips on my next video. I don't know about that yet, but it's definitely on my list. I only have one month left for my 100 book challenge and I'm not there yet. So I went to the library and got me some books got this one. It's called The Underdog. I got this other one, which is called Fighter. I got them in Dutch because my library has mainly Dutch books, as you know, and that pretty much sucks. I mean, they do have some English novels, but overall it's <laughs> Dutch, which obviously makes sense because I live in Belgium. <laughs> Still, it sucks. And then I've got another one by Marcus Zusak. I don't even know if I pronounce it right. And it's called The Book Thief. Then there's Nick and Nora by Rachel Cohn and David Leverton. Pradice by Scott Westerfield. But I haven't read Uglies yet, so I don't know if that's a good idea. But on the other hand, they don't have Uglies in the library. Wicked. I'm dying to read this book, so really curious. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Paper Towns in Dutch. I've already read Paper Towns in English. When I was in Amsterdam last time, John told us that Paper Towns was much funnier in Dutch than in English because someone had told him and now I want to figure out whether that's true. And who knows, maybe I'll buy it in Dutch as well if I really like it. Got this one by Christine Hemmerichs, which uh, is something like Margot and the Angels. And it's on the 1001 books you've got to read before you die list. Well, it's actually on 2008 and 2010 version and on the one that I have, the 2006 version. But I want to read it anyway because I want to read all the books on that list or on those lists. And I'm probably never going to be able to do it, but I want to try it. And lastly, Iris Murdoch. The Bell. Iris Murdoch is one of my favourite writers. Most books I've chosen aren't exactly books that I would read normally, so therefore I thought here, just for some balance, I could read Iris Murdoch again. Well, it's on the 1001 list as well, so that's perfect. And I accidentally crossed this out as red, which isn't the case, so I have to fix that anyway. On a not so different note, I've finished The Hunger Games, well only the first one so far. Well Christina, I think you're right, it was a great book and I really enjoyed reading it. It will never be my favourite, but it was really enjoyable and um, I definitely look forward to reading the rest. I just saw the Project for Awesome video by John and Hank and I'm so excited for that. I was waiting for them to announce it and now it has happened and now I have to think about making a video and I don't know what I will do yet or what charity but I'll figure it out in time I guess. As most of you know it's Movember and I'm a Movember girl so you can check that out. Please do check out the other Movember girls videos because they're so awesome. I really hope you liked the intro. It's not original, I know that, but it was nice anyway, right? Holza, I'll see you tomorrow.